Doubles Pickleball Strategy 304. Fully capitalize on the third shot drop. Guys, we already know about the importance of the third shot drop in pickleball. However, making a great third shot drop is just the first part of what is needed. The second part is quickly following the drop shot to enable playing the fourth shot from a fully forward position. Watch here. Here's the serve, the return of serve, and the third shot drop into the kitchen. Now here's the key. The player making the third shot drop uses his forward momentum to quickly get to the non-volley zone line to enable playing the fourth shot from a fully forward position. Watch again. Here's the serve, the return of serve, and the third shot drop into the kitchen. Here's the key. The player making the third shot drop uses his forward momentum to quickly get to the non-volley zone line to enable playing the fourth shot from a fully forward position. Watch again. The serve, return of serve, the third shot drop, and the fast scramble forward to enable playing the fourth shot from a fully forward position. One more time. The serve, return of serve, the third shot drop, and the fast scramble forward to enable playing the fourth shot from a fully forward position. Here are the statistics for top 5-0 rated players. After making a successful drop shot into the kitchen, top players will get fully forward to enable playing the fourth shot from a fully forward position over 50% of the time. When they fail to get fully forward after the third shot drop, they can usually get fully forward after making their next shot. So a pro will get fully forward over 50% of the time after the third shot drop only, and a pro will get fully forward 88% of the time after either the third shot drop or the third shot drop plus one additional shot. Now let's look at the statistics for good 4.0 rated players. So, even when 4.0 rated players make great third shot drops, they fail to capitalize as well as the top players. Here are two popular mistakes. Mistake 1. Waiting too long to evaluate the third shot. Of course, you must evaluate the third shot to determine if it can be attacked. You should not rush forward into an attackable shot. However, a pro knows as soon as he hits the third shot whether it will be good or not, and so a pro never stops their forward momentum when a good shot is made. So here's what you need to do. Use forward momentum into the strike and keep driving forward if you think you've made a good shot. Of course, you must stop and split step at the moment your opponent contacts the ball. If you get stopped in no man's land, you must get compressed and ready to field low shots. Mistake number two. Retreating or having backward momentum when hitting the third shot drop. Even the pros often make the mistake of being caught off guard by deep return of serve shots. Watch here. Here's the serve. The return of serve comes very deep, forcing the server to retreat to make the third shot drop. The drop shot is great, but the server makes no forward progress. Watch again. The player gets surprised by a very deep return of serve, and thus cannot make much forward progress after making his shot. So here's what you need to do. After serving the ball, quickly get back two feet behind the baseline and get in a compressed, ready position. Your partner should be compressed and two feet behind the baseline also. It's a whole lot easier to advance forward into the court than it is to retreat backwards out of the court. Keep track to ensure that you never hit a third shot with backward momentum. Good luck and thanks for watching.